Plans don't always go the way we want and sometimes that makes us feel defeated. But who is truly disappointed? Us or the people rooting for us? This is the only thing that I recorded yesterday. Let me explain why I feel this way. See, I'm on a journey where I'm creating a video every single day, but some days it's just not possible. Because, well, life has a way of throwing wrenches. I can't say that I'm disappointed in myself, even though that's kind of the direction that my thought process was going towards yesterday. At the same time, I have to remind myself that, hey, sometimes things don't work out how I want them to work out. And that's not always a bad thing. On those days, all I have to do is just focus on the things that makes me really excited. And it can get a little bit overwhelming when those things that makes me excited are the things that I want to do. It's not every day, it's not every time I'm gonna have the perfect conditions that I want in order to get all of this done. And I can't be so hard on myself. Life happens. We can be so hard on ourselves when it comes to the little challenges that we put ourselves through, where it's like, hey, I'm the one who actually made this challenge for myself and I'm the one who is going to stick with it no matter what and I've also said before that even if I skip one day to not let it pile up to where it's like oh my gosh this is now overwhelming so it's not like I'm making that happen I took the day off not by choice but it was a day off I just gotta enjoy that and actually I did enjoy that I went to bed very early Mm-hmm. Here's the thing about feeling disappointment. Disappointed. Disappointed in yourself. It's not the fact that someone else is going to be disappointed in you. It's the fact that you're disappointed in yourself. And that's what I have to remember. That my opinion, no matter how much I may value somebody else's opinion, my opinion matters to me the most. And if I feel like I'm letting myself down, then I'm going to be so hard on myself. And honestly, that is not fair to me. Because... In this life I am just human right now <laughs> until I transcend and go somewhere else I am just human and sometimes things happen you know so I can't be too hard on myself you shouldn't be too hard on yourself because sometimes you just need to take it easy on top of everything people aren't gonna really be that disappointed in you because they see the effort that you're putting in and they see all the sacrifice that all the sacrifices that you're making in making in wow i cannot speak this morning <laughs> they see all the sacrifices that you're making and they know how much whatever you're doing means to you so they're more proud than disappointed in you so who cares if you miss one day you do and it shouldn't mean that much. It happens. Just don't let it happen again. <laughs> there, yeah, being hard on myself again. <laughs> it's easy to forget that this is a lifelong journey and one day of mishap or one day of time off doesn't really factor in into the entire big picture of everything. It's okay to miss a day. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to eventually come back to doing what you do love. Because at the end of the day, if you feel burnt out from doing something, then how long do you truly feel that you're going to continue this thing for? Once you feel burnt out, then guess what? It's like you're doing way too much in way too short of a time. That can be my problem. Not problem. Issue. Sometimes even though they kind of mean the same thing but 
problems we normally look at it like they can't be solved like oh it's just it's there it's never gonna be able to get solved but an issue or a challenge we we're like yes we're gonna get over this but the issue with me taking on too much sometimes can feel like I'm just zooming to the end of a goal without realizing that the journey is what matters. The journey is where I learn all the little things that I need to learn so that when the finish line do come, the elusive finish line, because from reading and from watching documentaries about people's lives and everything, it's like even people we feel like are the most accomplished. When you ask them, it's like they feel like they're just starting. They don't feel like they've done enough. So it's like a never ending journey to do the most that we possibly can. So it's up to us to truly feel like we own our future because we're creating it and to really celebrate all the wins that we have so far. We can't just keep going, 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 going and not acknowledge all the great things that we've done. In that case, we'll feel like we did nothing at all when that's simply not true. I was mad. Feeling disappointed in myself would be very, very silly because I've done a lot and I'm sure that everything that I do from now on will complement that. So it doesn't matter how I feel in a split second, I can never disappoint myself.